Hello everyone. I want to make some description of base steps in country and days. Let's start with uh, a concept, a real important concept of weight on your foot. A step in country line dance is a, a movement and a, a change of weight on your foot. So if I do this, I make a step. If I do this, I have weight on my left leg and I do this, I change my weight on the right leg. This is another step on site. So step involves not just the movement, but the change of weight. So you, you can make a step standing just like that and not moving. This is a step and this is a step. So a step is fundamental to understand every other figure we have in country line dance. I start with the, the concept of weight. When I'm like that, I have my weight on two foot, feet, sorry, not two feet, on right and left. When I do this, I put my weight on the left leg and I raise, I free this leg. So, when I have a weight on my foot, the other foot can do whatever it wants. A hook, a kick, a flick, whatever. So, when you have the weight on a foot, the other movement is on the other leg. And that's for sure. So, if you have weight here, you just can do something with this leg. So, I have a weight here, I can do a step. Then I have a weight here and I do another step. So the concept of the weight is basically the fundamental concept of every figure we have in the country line dance. Okay, let's start with the simple, uh, with simple figure, simple uh, composition, combo. Let, let's say combo, not figure, but combo. Uh, we can we can start with the uh, the simple one, I, I, maybe this is better to, to understand. Um, we can start with uh, a rock step, a single rock step. A rock step is uh, a two movement in two times. We have uh, this is a rock step. And a rock step is uh, um, like that. And I take weight on my left leg, this one. Then I go forward with the right leg, I do a rock, and then I make another step on my left leg. I change again because when I'm doing this, I'm taking weight on this leg. Then I get back on this leg and I will change again my weight. It's a two movement and two change of weight. This is the first one. First movement and first change of weight, I take weight on the right leg and then get back on the left leg, on the left foot, and then free this one, you see that? So when I'm here, a rock step is a rock step, okay? The same thing we have when we are backward, and we have a, it's called a rock back. A rock back, you do a rock here, you change your weight, this is free now, you have the weight on your right leg, and then you again you go forward and you take weight on your left leg. This is a rock and back. You, took, you get back on your left leg. Okay? So it's a rock step and rock back. You can call this this combo is called a rocking chair. A rocking chair, you know the rocking chair, you know, because you are you do no 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 it's like a, a rocking chair. The rocking chair. So, when you do this combo, a rock step and a rock back, you do a rocking chair. It's called rocking chair. Sometimes we have to call a combo of uh, three or four steps uh, with a name, just because when we 
explain things. Uh, we have to be uh, analytic and explain every every situation. Let's say every situation. But when we have uh, in mind uh, all of that uh, and we need uh, just a reminder of what I'm doing, it's better to use uh, a combination. So I can do this uh, rock step, you need uh, a step forward and a step back, and a rock back, rock back, and you get back on your left leg. But you know this concept, and when you know this concept, is uh, more proficient to say a combo. This is a rocking chair. So when I explain that and you know all of this stuff, you have a, a short reminder of what I'm doing. A rocking chair. Not a rock step or a back. I prefer to call a rock step or a back every time this this combo. But uh, uh, you hear rocking chair many many times. Okay. Okay. This uh, is uh, a basic. Uh, uh, this is a basic. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, okay. This is a basic concept uh, of uh, uh, the rocking chair. Okay. Now um, let's talk about uh, uh, other combo uh, that we usually do in the UC of the. It's uh, uh, a vine, a grapevine. A grapevine is, uh, I do this in this way, it's better for you to, to, to watch. Um, a vine is uh, a step on the, let's say we, we, we can do a vine on the right side or a vine on the left side. If we do a vine on the right side, we may need a step and a cross and a step again. This is a three, three, sorry, three movement, three movement combo in three times. We have one, two, three. Okay. And um, when you do a grapevine or a vine, you uh, can do this one. Uh, step diagonally forward with your right leg. If we are doing a right grapevine, then you get back with your step, uh, with your left. Uh, leg behind and crossed the right and then again you get back here okay so you start on this line you go forward with this on the line you stay here and you get back on the line here this is a line one two three four you can do this in other way because it's uh, the combo is right left, right, okay? But you can do this in different ways. If you are on this line, you can move forward your leg on a diagonal and stay when you cross on the line where you start, and then you get back with your right leg on the line. But you can do this in another way. You can do a step, a side right step, then you get back diagonally with your left, and then you get back again on the line with this. You see that it's different. One, two, three is different than one, two, three. And uh, the choreographer, uh, let's say that, um, he can say on the description of his choreography, he can say, I want to find uh, that you do something like a forward or maybe on the side. But if the choreographer doesn't care about that and it's just a matter of what you want to do, uh, you can do uh, whatever you want. The combo is uh, vine, and then you do this kind of vine, or you may do this kind of vine, okay? And about the choreographer that write down on the step sheet of what they do, it's, uh, uh, well, let's say that uh, people think that step sheet where you have all the steps uh, on, a, on a paper, uh, on a PDF, it's uh, kind of uh, complicated, not so easy, easy job, easy, 
not easy understanding. It's, it's not like that. It's really easy to read a step sheet. And I want to give you some tips about this in this uh, uh, kind of uh, lesson. This is not a lesson, it's uh, just chatting about uh, country like this, uh, combos and steps. Oh, all right. I can give you this this uh, kind of, of information, and uh, with this kind of information, with nothing else, uh, you can uh, you can take a step sheet and read it and do whatever you want. You can you can read a step sheet and no no uh, no difficult at all. Uh, let's say that a step sheet is something um, something uh, really really easy. It's structured like a, a section. We have uh, many sections. Uh, as many sections as we want uh, our choreography on the music uh, is composed. If we have uh, um, generally, if we have 32 counts or 64 counts, let's say 30, 32 counts, we have uh, uh, these 32 counts uh, on the music, on the kind of music, and these 32 counts are subdivided in eight counts each. So each section of this 32 count is composed by eight counts, and this is typical. Uh, we have uh, these eight counts, that is a session, it's called a section, and these eight counts are described in the step sheet. Every section is described in the step sheet, is uh, sequentially. And uh, uh, we have uh, two, uh, two, 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 two fields, let's say two fields in each section. The, the headlines is a border, it's a right down, a very big. And uh, the description below the, four, the, uh, the headline uh, of the section, and this uh, description is divided in four parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we, we have the headline, Okay, let's talk about it this way. We have the headline, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have a description of the steps. So let's get back to our rocking chair. We have a rock step and a rock back. Maybe the choreographer will write down on the bold side of the headline, will write down rocking chair, just rocking chair. As I told you before, when you, you know this combo, uh, you don't need that I will tell you that you get you go forward with your left, you get back on your uh, right, you get, get back on your left, and again you get back on the uh, on your right and get back to your left. You uh, are so uh, smart and you remember that uh, this kind of movement is a rocking chair, just a rocking chair. But if you want to explain the rocking chair, what is a rocking chair, you have to do that on the step sheet. Because uh, mm, it's better that uh, uh, maybe you don't remember a certain combo or whatever. And uh, it's better to have the headline, as I told you, each section. But it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have the description on the section of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so we have uh, on the section where we have the description, we have uh, you move forward your right leg and then you get back on your left leg with the weight. It's uh, the description of one, two, three. You can, one, two, sorry, one, two. And uh, you can write down, uh, move your right leg forward, comma, and get back on your left foot. And this is a rock step. And then you make in three, four, you make you get back with your right foot, and then you get back the weight on your left foot. And this is the description of the three, four. All right? So, what's so difficult in that? That's all, that's it. A step sheet is something where you find all the dance that the choreographer has in mind. And it's not so difficult, it's uh, really easy, really easy. So, um, I suppose you, you, can, you can do this effort. 
you uh, watch a PDF on the internet and you take a, a simple, a simple uh, choreography or whatever you want and then you try to understand uh, this, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, paper uh, not so, not so, not so difficult, not so difficult. On, a, on, a, on, a, on a step sheet we have, uh, you know, on the headlines we have uh, the choreographer, the song, uh, how many counts uh, and the rules. The concept of the rules, I, I, I will explain now the concept of the war in mind and it's very important. But uh, let's close the argument of uh, uh, step sheet. Not so difficult. You have uh, uh, your counts subdivided in eight uh, each, so each one is called section. Each section has a headline, a bold headline, and then you have the description. It's uh, analytically every step you do, it's uh, described from them. Uh, just the uh, last thing, last but not least, as uh, I used to say, uh, every choreographer has uh, his way of writing down uh, the description side. Uh, let's say that the headline is quite, uh, uh, quite uh, the same for every choreographer, but the description is very different. Sometimes uh, uh, the choreography is not so inclined, uh, let's say this, to, to describe more than what is needed, so it's uh, quite short. Other, other, other people, other choreographers, uh, prefer to be more, uh, let's say, uh, more precise and uh, write down many, many things. Uh, that's, uh, it depends uh, by the choreographer, uh, everyone has his uh, own, uh, own way to do that. Okay. I, I was talking about walls. Walls. We were uh, we were uh, at the end of the argument of the step sheet. Now we talk about walls. Walls in a country like this. Uh, the concept is that uh, we have uh, to dance uh, everybody side by side on a line, and you have the second line. We have people. Okay, it's like a matrix in mathematics. So we have. Uh, uh, let's say we, we are 16 people are four, four matrix of people and these people are placed precisely in line horizontally and vertically so la, the line dance is a, a team of people dancing everybody on this line and on this line and the movement has to be coordinated everyone has to do the same thing. Line dance is not uh, a free way of, uh, uh, of dancing. You, you, can't, uh, you can't do whatever you want. You can do some variation. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to see, but you have to stay on, on, the, uh, on the team and, uh, and you, you, can't, uh, you can't do whatever you want. You can do uh, uh, when, you, when, you, when you think about other kind of uh, dance, uh, you are free to move. Uh, in the line dance, it's not like that. You have to do the same thing. And uh, uh, this line concept is really important and should be mathematical uh, concept. And uh, when you dance uh, like that, we are everybody like like this. Uh, we are facing a wall. This is my wall. Okay, this is my wall. When uh, uh, I, I make a, 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 a half turn and I get this way, I have another fall. So, think about this. We have four walls. We don't have the fifth or the, the eighth wall. Uh, this is a mistake that we, uh, that we find in a step sheet. Uh, sometimes I call it, say, on the, on the eleventh wall. No, there's no eleventh wall. We, we don't have uh, uh, eleventh wall. We, we have four walls, okay? You can dance uh, like that, and this is my wall. You can dance like that, and this is my wall, my wall, and my wall. We don't count uh, uh, like a prisma wall. Uh, this is not a wall. We have four walls. One, two, three, and four. And we have uh, a rotation of 90 degrees for each wall, okay? So if I have this concept in mind, we have four walls, not uh, more than four walls. 
We have uh, in a choreography when uh, you see uh, in a choreography you see uh, on the twelfth uh, uh, wall we have a start. So uh, that uh, this uh, is uh, my wall, uh, and uh, when I dance uh, I make my wall make it count. Uh, it, uh, I do this on the wall, and when I make uh, maybe the other eight count I will get back here, so I get back on the first wall. But it's the first repetition of the wall. This is concept uh, is uh, important, the repetition, the repetition of the wall. So I dance like that, and I dance like that, I do just one time. When I get back here, it's the first repetition. Then I dance like that. When I dance like that over this wall, is a second repetition. And if you count uh, every time that I repeat uh, a new wall, uh, you have the first wall, second wall, Third wall is the first repetition, fourth wall, fifth wall is the second repetition. So it's not correct to say, to, to, to talk about walls uh, uh, over the, the, the four wall we have, physically we have. We have to keep in mind that the concept of repetition of a wall. Okay. Um, Let's say about wall, we, we can we can dance uh, uh, just uh, on the on one wall, or maybe two walls, or maybe four walls. That's depend uh, on the choreographer. Uh, it's uh, important thing. This this kind of uh, of uh, uh, activity, country line dance, uh, is uh, uh, quite mathematical and uh, music. And, uh, so on, but it's artistic, so the, uh, the choreographer uh, has in mind his, uh, his, uh, uh, his, his movements and uh, so on, 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 on a song he, 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 is, he is hearing, and uh, uh, he, he, can, he can do something about this song and uh, um, could be uh, two walls, four walls, uh, whatever he likes, it's, uh, it's an artist, so choreography. It's, uh, it's something uh, artistic. Okay, um, let's get back to the to the, to the basic uh, steps. We were talking about fine, and uh, as I told you, uh, on the headline of the step sheet we have a great fine, but uh, on the description, and now you can understand what, what I was talking about before, uh, on the description the choreographer can say, okay, do uh, a step on the, on the right side and then get back with your left leg so you you go behind the line where you start and then you get back here and then you close the bind. Okay, the bind is a three movement uh, of three counts uh, and there is no four movement for the bind. The bind, the combo bind is this one. Then you can close the bind uh, like that uh, with a stomp with the hook, with the whatever you want, but the bind is three movement of three steps. Okay. Um, step, stop, stop. What is a stop? A stop is something like this is a stop. A stop is a heavy step. You do this and uh, you take weight. But you don't want to be uh, in a condition of taking weight. You make a stomp up. You you do this and then you you do this because you have to move again with this right leg again. Stomp or maybe stomp. You see that? Stomp up and then you make a rock step. If you if you otherwise if, if you do a stomp and take weight, you can do stomp and then kick hook kick. Okay, so you take weight is a stomp, you don't take weight is a stomp up. Okay, you go up with your leg. That's a stomp. Um, okay, let's let's uh, mm, let's do this uh, not uh, programmatically but um, free 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 way uh, as I as I I remember things. Uh, that we have in a choreography. We have something like a rocking chair or a rock step, rock back. A side rock step is you go 
on the right, you take weight, and then you get back this. It's just like that, but it is on the side, okay? So rock step. This is another rock step, but this is a side rock step. So I want to do this because uh, in my steps and counts, uh, I, I, I will be, I, I am uh, really, really uh, short. I don't, I don't say many things about what we are doing. I use uh, uh, some short terms just because you know everything. But if you don't know the, the basic steps, maybe it's better to have a, a car and, uh, of legenda. And this is my legenda. Uh, but this is, is, is legenda for every every teaching in the country like that, not just mine, but uh, every every teacher used to say side rock, rock step, and so on. So it's not just for my steps and counts, but for every kind of, uh, of uh, teaching in country like that. Okay, I was talking about uh, the uh, side rock. It's uh, taking weight and then taking weight again on this. And then you can do a side rock and stomp up, and then a side and a, and a rock step. This can be, could be could be a, a, a combo. Side rock stomp, rock step, rock back. You can do it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Uh, I forgot the the hold. The hold. Uh, the hold concept is really important. Hold is when you don't don't do anything. You, you do nothing. So hold is when you um, uh, use a, a pose, what is called a pose. And uh, remember this, this is really important. It's, it's very important to have a look at a pose. The pose, the hold, is uh, meaningful, is really important. It's not something that you can say, okay, it's nothing, and, like nothing, nothing uh, is, is not, is not, is not so, so, so important. No, it, it is important like a step. This is important, this is important, and the pose is really important too. I, I can tell you this because sometimes a pose is watched and, and people do pose uh, unconsciously, uh, but they have to, to be they have to be aware of the pose. It's really important. You, you know, if you do a side rock stomp hold, uh, the hold uh, has to be watched really uh, carefully and uh, uh, performed really carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the four. The four is the pose. It's really important. Okay, saying that, um, what uh, we can say about the basic steps, then we, 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 can, we can talk about the combos. Um, basic steps, uh, we have uh, um, steps uh, more, more peculiar, like the grind, when you do a grind, uh, you make a rock step and uh, if you do a grind, if you grind, you put uh, your heel like that, uh, you make a rock step, then you have uh, a, a 45, 45 degrees rotation. At the end of rotation, you take uh, again weight on your left. Uh, this is a rock step with a grind, the grind. One, two, you see that? At the end of the rotation, we are on this leg and the rotation is closed. One, two, three, four, it's just like a rocking chair, not a rocking chair, but you have a, a heel ground, okay? Rocking chair. Mm, okay, let's get back to combo. To combo. Uh, let's talk about wave. Wave, it's quite uh, like a vine, but we have a four movement in four counts. So, a, a, a vine is like that, okay? But a wave is like that. You see, we have just one cross with the vine, but we have two cross with the wave. So if the wave is step, cross, step, cross, this is a wave. Okay, uh, same, same thing for the wave as we told about the vine. You can do diagonally forward and you stay on line with your cross, 
left behind the right, and then you get back on the line with the right, and you go diagonally forward with your left, crossing the right with the left. This kind of wave. You go like that, and you end with your left leg over the line where you started. But if you want to stay on the, the line where you were, when you started the, the wave, you have to do something like, uh, on the side, you get back the harmony, you stay, you, you can put uh, this, uh, this back again, and this uh, crossing goes uh, to the line, okay? So, this is different than this. Sorry. You see? That's because uh, we have uh, the choice uh, to do whatever we want, uh, and the choreographer doesn't have to write down on the borderline uh, what we are doing on the wave. He write down the wave. But uh, when we have uh, the description, maybe sometimes the choreographer says, Step diagonally uh, forward with the right, stay on line with this cross behind the right, and then again and cross the left over the right. Okay? This is a wave. A wave can start uh, like that too. You see? What's important in a wave uh, is that you have a four movement and uh, two crossed uh, behind. One, Two. This is first cross and second cross. Okay. On a great line we have just one cross. On a wave we have two cross. And you see that we have. Uh, I start every time with the right, but it's uh, the same thing, thing on the left. Vine on the left and the wave on the left. Okay. So. Uh, let's uh, let's remember everything. Rocking chair or rock step, rock back, bind, and you close whatever you want. A bind and a wave. This is a wave. Or maybe this is a wave. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I was mm, talking about the uh, the side and get back, it's uh, like a rock step and you get back. Uh, let's, uh, uh, let's talk about uh, another figure, another combo that we have uh, usually on a choreography. It's called a Monterey. A Monterey, before the Monterey, we have to talk about the point. What is a point? This is a point, okay? This is a point. You do this, is a point, okay? Uh, a point is like a, a side rock and then you get back on the left but uh, you don't take it like that but uh, you make this so your weight uh, stays on your left you don't do this weight on the right and then get back on the left you do this and get back on the left this one too okay monterey what is a monterey monterey is a combo where you have a point and then you get back and a point and then you get back but the combo is composed in a way that you have to make an after and that's the difficult part of the monterey you do this point then you make a half turn on your right where you go with your point and you get back pivoting on your left leg and together Beside your left, the right get back, get back. So, point, and you do this. This is the first part of the Monterey of the figure. And then, again, a point, and you get back. So, that's Monterey. One, two, three, four. All right? This is not so easy, not so easy uh, for the first time. Okay. So, point. 
After pivoting on your left, you get back beside, right beside your left, and then again forward. This, this is not correct. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, another another combo. Really, really nice. This is called scissor, scissor cross. Usually we have a scissor with a cross, and a cross. Scissor cross. Again, we have two kind of scissor cross. We have a scissor cross uh, on the side together, this side right, and then you do cross. This is a scissor cross. One, two, three, and then a pose, a hold. This is really important. You see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The pose, the hold is really nice, it's really elegant. You have to uh, you have to remember that point, that the hold is really important. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, the scissor, scissor cross is something like a side rock, get back and cross and hold. Uh, or a scissor cross on the left, one, two, three, four. You make a step together, cross, hold. This is a scissor cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A vine. Hey. Um, why I say why I don't know. Okay. I, I'm talking about scissor cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a eight count of two scissor cross. But scissor cross can be something like one, two, three, four. This is different. You see that? If I do this. I get back with the cross on the line where I start. So if I do this, uh, I stay on the line, the cross, uh, it's uh, obviously forward uh, the line where I start. So two kinds of scissor cross, one, two, three, four, or maybe one, two, three, four. And this is right down on the description side of the step sheet. In the both side of the section, you see, for example, uh, right scissor cross, comma, left scissor cross, right scissor cross, hold, right scissor cross, hold, both sides. But in the description, you have one, two, you have the description, go back diagonally with your right, left beside right, and then go forward diagonally with your right leg, crossed over left and then hold. And this is described on a description section. I hope to be clear on that. Okay? It's not so so difficult. Uh, if you are uh, really, if you, if you are used to, to hear and understand the combos, uh, you don't need the, the description side. You, you can read just the headlines. But if you are uh, a beginner, you have to read carefully what in the description is uh, is uh, right now. Uh, the best way to understand the steps uh, and the combos uh, is not uh, uh, a sequential paper where you read a scissor file and then wave and whatever. Uh, it's uh, reading a step sheet. You take a, a step sheet of a choreographer and then you learn everything. It's not, not, so, not so difficult. You, you, you have to understand just the basic steps and, uh, and how we call that. Uh, another one uh, is particularly important is the key ball and uh, cross or change or whatever. Uh, before this, we have to introduce the concept of a kick. This is a kick. This is a kick. This is a kick. You, you, you make a kick, just write a kick. It's called a kick. Um, a kick and a ball will, will mean kick ball. Ball. This is the ball. This is the ball. Kick ball change. You change the ball and it's something like you change your weight. So kick ball change. You change your weight. You make a kick. You take weight and then you change uh, shortly, rapidly, on the other leg. Kick, ball, change, or kick, ball, cross. 
So you make a kick, you get back on your ball, this is the ball, ball, cross, okay? This is another combo. You can do whatever you want, keep ball, cross, or keep ball, hook. It's not important that. Uh, the closure is not important. What is important is the kick ball, kick ball, and change, kick ball, cross, kick ball, hook, or whatever. Okay, let's talk about uh, uh, combos. Really, really, um, really nice. Uh, I, I suppose this is one of the, uh, of the best, uh, the best combo in like this. It's called jazz box. Jazz box is something like this. Jazz box is uh, three movements. Okay, you cross, you get back, and then you again on the side where you got back. So cross, get back, side, and then you close the jazz box. Uh, um, whatever, a hook, a uh, stomp, uh, whatever. One, two, three, four. You can do whatever you want. One, two, three, four. Yes. With a lot. Moja. Um, a jazz box uh, is a combo really, really uh, used, and uh, you have, uh, uh, as uh, for the other combos on the right and on the left, when you uh, read a uh, Right jazz box is this, and you read a left jazz box is this, where you start. Okay, where you start. Okay. You do all the combos on the left side, but if you start on the right, the combo, the jazz combo, the jazz, the jazz box is called right jazz box. Um, this is quite peculiar. The other combo is not like that. You make a scissor, a scissor is on the right, you start on the right and you do everything on the right. But the jazz box is quite different. You start with your right, and this is a uh, right jazz box, but you do everything on the left. So it's quite confusing the first time, but uh, then you, you understand that the jazz is, uh, uh, the side is where you start. So this is a left jazz box and this is a right jazz box. I suppose I hope. Okay. I remember like that. Okay. Um, this is a jazz box. Okay. And um, then we mm, keep on with uh, uh, three steps uh, uh, combos, uh, like a chassé or a shuffle or whatever. Uh, now I want to introduce a concept really important is the syncopation. Syncopated, uh, what does it mean? It's uh, for the first time, it's really, really, really uh, uh, complicated because you have to do uh, something like three movement, three movements uh, with two. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, th three movements in two times. Um, let's uh, let's uh, say that we have to do something like uh, uh, uh. this. Uh, if you if you um, if you watch carefully, it's one, two, three. You see that we have two movements, but it's called one, two. Okay, uh, why, why is that? Because uh, I'm making a syncopation, a dance syncopation. Syncopation in music is quite different. Uh, then in, in, in line air syncopation, that means that you have to make a third movement into count. So it's one and two. You see that one and the end is this movement. So one and two. Okay. And it's not easy to understand this because if you if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, you have everything easy, clear. But if you have one and two, you get confused for the first time. Uh, what does it mean? It means that you make two uh, more rapid movements before the third one, that is on the second count. And this is the difficult part. When you do this one and two, you see that the second is the same as I say one, two. Okay? One and two. You 
You see, the second doesn't change. What we change in syncopation is the first two. Why we have two movements with one count? Because we split half the, the movement. So it's not one, two, but it's something like one end. You see that this one end, the one end takes half time each. So we split the first movement in two movements. So if we count, we used to say in music where we have a quarter. A quarter, this is a quarter. One, two, three, four. But we, if, if we had, uh, if, if you want to split a quarter, we have an eight, two eight are one quarter. So if, if, we, if we have uh, a quarter splitted, we have two eight. It's, it's one and, you see that? This is one eight, one eight, and then one a quarter again. So, uh, when you make a syncopation, you make three movements in two counts. One and two, okay? And this is a chassé, okay? One and two, chassé is, you go right with your right leg, then left beside your right, and then again, right and left, right side. So, one and two, or maybe a shuffle, it's forward. The same thing as the chassé, but it's for one and two, this is a shuffle. Okay, uh, why is so important that syncopation? Syncopation is so important because we have many, many figures, uh, many columns in, uh, um, in, in this situation. And there, there, there are songs and music that are maybe everything is syncopated or uh, sometimes it's syncopated and then get back to normal. Uh, syncopation is really important. Syncopation in music, and this is uh, just, uh, just to, 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 for, for completeness, uh, syncopation in music is something like uh, 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 this is a syncopation. You have something uh, um, uh, uh, shifted uh, from uh, when, when you have a, a song, is something like uh, you, you, you know, drum, uh, one, two, Five, six. This is a, this is the drum, all right? Two, three, four, six, seven. When you do a syncopation, you do something like everything is uh, shifted. Ah, 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 ah. This is a syncopation. When it's not syncopated, it's ah, ah, ah. You go with music on the uh, we call it uh, on. Uh, on the step uh, on, on, on the, the first movement, all right? So, uh, 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 syncopated is uh, ah, 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 this is syncopated. It's quite different, the uh, syncopation in music and in dance. In dance, syncopation, that means we have uh, three movements in two counts. One and two, okay? One and two. All right, okay. Violin uh, could be syncopated. One and two. Okay? Not just one, two, three. And then we, we, we will see figure like coaster step could be slow coaster step or coaster step. Coaster step is, uh, his nature is syncopated. A coaster step, one and two, or a slow coaster step, one, two, three. So, difference in pure syncopation and not syncopation is not in the combo itself. The combo could be syncopated or not. The concept that you have uh, uh, to be careful and be in mind that you, you have to split uh, the count, uh, the first two count uh, in, a, in, a, in a syncopation in two eight. It's one and two, one and two, you see? One and two. You see that the, the second one is a two eight just itself, but the first two are one eight and one eight. So one and two. Okay, uh, we were talking about, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's, let's keep going with the syncopation and not syncopation. So, the difference uh, could be sometimes slow, slow combo or a combo itself. A coaster step is uh, typical. We have, you get back with your right, then uh, 
your left will be side right, and then again the right forward. This is the coaster step. Okay? A coaster step. And you get back beside. Get forward, go forward, go forward. Uh, you can do this slow. And slow it just one, two, three, maybe a hold that four. Or syncopated. One and two, three and four. You see, we have two syncopated here. We have a coaster step. Shuffle. Um, why is it important that? Because you don't have to link the concept of syncop or the combo to syncopation or, or whatever. A combo could be syncopated or not syncopated. You can do this too, it's a one and two. You can do this on a, on a, on a rock step too. One and two, you see? One and two is not one, two, three, but one and two. You, you make the first step forward and you get back here on the syncopated, and then you get back here and you have uh, the, the second, the second count behind. It's not usual this. You, usually you have a, a rock step and a rock back like one, two, three, but you can do this syncopated. One and two, you see that we are on two here, where every time we have this on the third count, okay? One, two, three, or one and two, and you are with your leg, right leg, with your left, right leg on the second count, and this is uh, consequentially of the syncopated combo. If we do a combo syncopated, we have uh, three movements in time. Okay. <coughs> so um, maybe I, I will I will keep on with this if uh, if I well all right uh, this this is a video uh, that. Uh, uh, if uh, no one, uh, no one take care of this video, but no one will will watch this video. But maybe I, I, I just, I just stop here. But uh, if you want to uh, to have more more information, and I see that you watch this video, maybe I keep on doing the, uh, more complicated uh, comments, more complicated comments. Now um, let's uh, let's uh, think about other other uh, stuff we can we can uh, we, we can say uh, about this um, about this we can we can uh, all right I have I have uh, uh, some. Some papers where we have uh, to watch. Grapevine with uh, a touch and a point, uh, brush and scuff. Oh, that's good. That's, that's really nice. Uh, a point. You see? This is a point, and this is a point. But a touch uh, could be this. You touch. This is a touch. This is not a point. It's not called a point. It's a touch. This is a point, and this is a touch. When you do this, you do a touch. Okay? This is a touch. A scuff. You make with uh, your uh, uh, heel, uh, you, you do something like this. This. This is a scuff. You, you make a step, not just uh, like a stomp up, uh, like that, but uh, you, uh, you do a movement like this. With your heel, uh, you, you go on, on, on the floor like that. A brush, it's uh, with your ball, like this one. This is a brush. All right. Scuff and brush. Point, touch, or touch. Okay. Hook, stomp, stomp up, toe, fun. Now let's see. Hook. A hook. What is a hook? This is a hook. Or this is a hook. You raise your leg and you make something like uh, uh, something like this or something like this. This is a hook, a hook, and a hook, and a 
I was talking about kick before, and one combo, one combo, Coriolan dance combo, it's kick, hook, kick, flick. What is a flick? A flick is like this. You make a, a, a hit with your heel behind, like, or diagonally, diagonally back like that, 45 degrees. This is a flick. Flick, kick, hook, kick, flick is, is a combination, a combo. So this is a combo. The combo. Like my touch, 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 touch. This is a touch, and this is a point. Sometimes you do point, cross, point, cross, or maybe point, touch. Okay. Um, well, we go forward and stomp and stomp up. We <laughs> just talked before about. Like this, uh, you just pivoting. You you take uh, you you are pivoting on your ball like that, and you you make a rotation with your heel. This is a heel fun, so it's uh, called a swivel, a uh, right heel swivel, left heel swivel, or maybe you do something like this, a toe. This is the toe, and this is the heel. So toe, a swivel with your toe, a swivel. Sometimes we have uh, something like toe, heel, toe. What does it mean when a choreographer or teacher say toe, heel, toe? It means that you have uh, to make a rotation with your toe, a rotation with your heel, and a rotation with your toe. Or maybe sometimes you have uh, this one and this one. So you have uh, toe on the right and heel on the right, like that. Toe, heel. Do, heel, do, and stop. It's different. Do, heel, do, stop. Do, heel, do, stop. Kick, hook, kick, kick, stop. Do, heel, do, stop. Do, heel, do, stop. Something is, one thing that is really important is when you dance, uh, you try to understand, or when you learn the dance, you try to uh, to understand every single step, every single combo. If you have in mind every single combo and every single step, you uh, you can you can remember the choreography uh, more easily. Because if you do something like just reminding uh, the movement uh, with the, 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 the image, just the image is. Uh, is, it's, it's easy that you, you forget the dance if you don't if you do the dance at the time. So when you uh, learn a choreography, it's really important to understand all the combo and the steps that we have in the choreography. This is really important. This is really important. So let's say, okay, uh, Rock, back, step, hold, kick, kick, back, hold, cross, step, step, stop, do, heel, do, scap, wave, okay, point forward, point forward, touch, touch, kick. So, this, this is important. You have, uh, uh, you have to have in mind uh, right and clear all the steps. If you do that, the choreography will, will, will be well performed and in 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 the long distance you can keep in your mind because you have clear all the steps of the combos. It's important. So slide, 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 slide. We have a stride and slide. The stride is a long step. This is a stride and this is a slide. When you slide, you, you with your uh, your cool in this case when you get back. This is a slide, that's a slide. But this is a stride. A stride is a long step. Okay. Sometimes you hear slide. This is not a slide. If I do this, it's not a slide. If I do slide like that, this is a slide, but not when you do something like this. This is a stride and this is a slide. Okay. Um, okay, a hop and a jump and a scoot and a flick, okay, flick, flick, a hop. 
a hop uh, a scoot question this this is scoot a uh, scoot you have uh, a hop hop is the jump on the, the same leg this is a hop but a scoot is a combo when 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 you raise the other leg you do a hop when you raise the other leg with a 45 with a 90 degree here this is a 90 degree and you go forward like that so it's a hop with a uh, with the, the raise of this leg is, is called a scoot. This is a scoot. Scoot, scoot. This is a scoot. Okay. Uh, scoot, flick, flick, scoot. A jump, a jump, a jump, a jump, a jump. You do a jump. What is a jump? Uh, what is a jump? A jump is when you jump on your leg. This is a hop, it's a jump. This is a jump. Okay. Uh, when you do something like out like that, then you jump. This is jump. Um, let me introduce you uh, the difference between uh, uh, combos, jumped or not jumped. And this is the difference between Catalan style and uh, the line dance, the, the usual line dance. Catalan style introduced the uh, concept of uh, jumping of some combos. The jazz box, jump and jump, jazz box is a typical color. This is jazz box where you jump. When you jump, you jump when you you make a jump on a leg. Okay, this is jump, jump, jump. This is jump. Okay, when you do a jazz box jump, you do a jazz box in a cut and style way. Uh, if you do that in, uh, in normal line dance, you have. Uh, this free movement and a closure. But if you do that in Catalan style, you have a jump, you have more movement. Because when you do this, uh, you raise this leg. So you do this this movement, but you do another movement with the other leg. When you do this, you make another movement with the other legs, and this equal. You make a flick. So it's like that. In a normal line dance, you have three movements one, two, three. But in, in, in Catalan style, we have two movements, other two movements, other two movements, and so we have double movements. And it's more aerobical. That's the only difference. We have, we have a rock back like that, it's Catalan rock back, and so on. So, when we were talking about it, I'm sorry, this is my computer, as has. Um, uh, okay, all right. Uh, kick and hitch. Hitch, uh, when I told you about uh, this is a hitch. This is a hop and this is a hitch. The union of hop and hitch is a uh, scoot. This is scoot. Oh, yeah. This is scoot. Rock step, rock. Rock, rock and chair. Toe switches. Toe switches. switches, toe switches. What is a switch? A switch is a change. So heel switches is like that. You switch your heel, you do a heel like that. Okay? Or toe switches. You switch from the right to the left. This is toe switches. Heel switches. Toe strut. Toe strut. Let's talk about heel strut and toe strut. Heel strut it begins with the heel, heel strut. Uh, it's something like uh, you make uh, uh, a point with your heel and then you uh, raise down your ball. So if this is a heel strut, heel strut, heel strut, heel strut, heel strut. A toe strut is something like toe strut. You have toe and then you raise down your heel. This is a toe strut. This is Normally uh, done with a rotation sometimes. Toe strut, toe strut, toe strut, toe strut. It's difficult to have a rotation with toe strut, but you, you, have, you, you can do toe strut on side. Toe strut, toe strut. This is a, a, a toe switch, is, but really it's a toe strut. And another toe strut. This is a heel strut, this is a heel switch. Like this. Uh, the difference is uh, because you have, in this case, uh, that you get back. 
Il strut is a heel strut side. So this switches is heel strut to when you get back. So toe strut, toe strut, it's uh, the same. Toe switches and toe strut, toe strut, it's the same. But the heel strut is different if you do uh, heel switches and uh, switches. So it's a heel strut and this is a heel switches. But toe strut or toe switches. Um, step lock step. What is a step lock step? Lock is when you uh, lock your step behind the other one. You make a step and then you lock this one. This. You don't do this step and you go forward. You lock your other leg behind the, 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 the first one. This is a lock step. Step, lock, step. And this is one and two. Or maybe one, two, three. This is another combo that we have, uh, or syncopated, or not syncopated. So if it's not syncopated, it's called a slow step or step, or syncopated is step or step, step or step, or maybe one and two. Okay, step or step. Okay, let's talk about pivoting. Pivoting. What does it mean? Pivoting. Pivoting, you have uh, uh, to take weight uh, on uh, on uh, uh, foot, and then you make a turn. This pivoting, you pivoting. Uh, uh, when you do something like step pivot, what does it mean? You you take weight on your heel and you do a half turn movement. So you pivoting, okay, like that, or on. Step pivot, step pivot, pivoting. This is pivoting. Pivot. This is a pivoting. You can pivoting over your heel, or maybe changing, changing the feet. Okay. Um. Well, we have uh, many, many figures to discuss, but. Uh, uh, I want to stay on uh, on the main combos that we have. The main combos that we have, uh, it's uh, as we told before. This is a chasse, so it's a step beside step. This is a chasse on the right, chasse on the left, or a shuffle is step together step, or maybe a shuffle behind step together step. This is shuffle. Um, a sailor step, a sailor step. A sailor step is another combo that we have uh, really important. It's something like one, two, three, and four. You see that sailor step is 90% uh, uh, of the times uh, it's uh, syncopated. One, and two, three, and four. Sailor just like a, a drunk sailor. Sailor step, sailor step. This is a sailor step. Well, uh, what you do when you do a sail step, you go like that. This is uh, behind, this is, uh, okay, no, not this is, but uh, right uh, behind uh, left, uh, then left uh, quite uh, uh, beside your right, and then you go forward with your right. One and two, three and four. This is a sail step, a sail step. It's like a coaster step, but we have with rotation. Coaster step, but sailor step, sailor step is diagonal, something there, okay? So, sailor step, sailor step. You can have sailor step. You have a new chord. We have a sailor scuff. Um, syncopated, we can talk about vaudeville. Vaudeville, what is a vaudeville? A vaudeville, one and two, and three and four. We have a one and two, three and four, and one and two. So you have uh, this one, the, the left leg uh, goes behind and across of the right, and then diagonally like that. So it's, oh, sorry, and one and two, and three and four. This is the, this is a vaudeville. But a vaudeville, uh, sometimes it's, uh, uh, we don't start with uh, 
is one getting back, but uh, this is the start of the vaudeville. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a vaudeville, it's variation of the vaudeville. The, the true vaudeville is a one and two and three and four, but we have two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, in this way, we have a cross behind heel strap, cross behind heel strap, diagonal behind. But it's called, uh, it's called uh, vaudeville too. But vaudeville is a one and two, is a syncopated, and we start with the left for a left vaudeville and right for the right vaudeville. Let's go on. Okay, scissor. Keep all with it, all that. Let's talk about rumba box. What is a rumba box? A rumba box is a right rumba box we have with your right on the right, left side right, and then again forward your right and a hold. This is really important because our rumba box sometimes it is closed. So one, two, three, four. It's not a rumba box. Rumba box is one, two, three, and hold. Okay? So, uh, this is half of the box, but the other half of the rumba box is left on your left. Step right beside left, and then get back to the left and hold. This is a hold rumba box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a rumba box. Sometimes we have a rumba box with closure. One, two, three, stop. Two, three, stop. You can do this. Uh, but that rumba is a bit Let's talk about something more difficult for a beginner. More difficult for a beginner. It's called the apple jack. This uh, is an apple jack. Those are apple jacks. What is an apple jack? Uh, an apple jack is a combo where you do something like this. You see this? Okay. What you do? When you do this, you take weight on your heel and your toe and you make a rotation with the other heel and the other toe on the left side. This is the first, the first step of the apple jack. One, two, three, four. And what, what, what you do when you do the three, four, you make the same thing. You take weight on your left toe and your heel right and then you make a rotation on the right with your left heel and your right toe. Okay? One, two, three, four. Or better, syncopated one and two and three and four. You can do this whatever you want, uh, syncopated or not. The important thing is to, to understand is that when you do this, uh, you make uh, this change of weight. You take weight in here and here and you make the rotation. This is better. Watch behind. I do this, maybe I raise my left toe and my right heel and make the rotation this way. And the other side, it's the opposite. So I take weight on the left toe and the right heel. This is the right side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then uh, yeah, uh, the first time is quite quite difficult, but uh, when you do this uh, more times, you 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 can uh, you can you can do that. No 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 trouble at all. One two three four five six seven eight. Okay, let's talk about pigeon. What is a pigeon? A pigeon is uh, something like one two three four five six seven eight, or maybe this way. Uh, uh, the concept here is the same as the, as the apple jack. What, what do you do here? When you do this, uh, you see that I do this thing again. So, I take weight on my right heel and my left, uh, uh, left toe, and uh, I rotate. This time, this time, uh, different uh, from the apple jack that, that you do this, uh, everything is going this way. When you do a, a pigeon, you see that you make a rotation in this way. You take weight and you make a rotation. The heel on the right and the toe on the right. Okay? 
this and this. When you do this, you, you, you take weight on your right heel and on your left toe. And again, you do this, you do a rotation. You see that? Where I take weight, this is where I take weight, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. This is pigeon and apple jack. Sweet it, sweet it, sweet it. Very simple sweet it. We have something like this. This is sweet. Again, you take weight on your left toe and your right heel and you make a rotation. This time, the rotation of the sweet it is this is to the opposite. So we have this rotation on the left and this rotation on the right. This, okay? If I do this, it's an apple. Every uh, take weight and then make a rotation. Rotation everything on the right, this is an apple. But if I do a swivet, I make the rotation, I take weight and then the rotation. This, this one, and this, this one. This is a swivet. Swivet, swivet. Okay. Again, my computer. Naughty, naughty computer. It would be better to, to raise the time. But well, whatever, okay. So, uh, heel grind, splits, uh, going forward, or combination, strike. Okay. I suppose we are quite at the end of this first section. So we have uh, some simple figures. Um, grind, I, I think I took care of the grind before. Uh, we have a full combination, full combination item. I suppose we have uh, the basics uh, combos uh, of uh, uh, a simple, uh, simple like this. Mm. We have uh, more stuff uh, to, to watch, but it's more difficult. Twist, uh, kick, uh, or, uh, or whatever. Um, we have many, many, many combos that we need. We can. We can say that 80% uh, of what I, uh, I explained here in this video, it's uh, in the, the country like dance choreography, 80%. Uh, we have more stuff, uh, sure, we have more stuff, but, uh, but uh, many things are, uh, are, are explained in this, in this session. I suppose uh, for now we have, uh, we, we are, we are at the end, uh, and I want to thank you for uh, uh, watching this video, uh, and I hope that uh, beginners, uh, people uh, who try to, to understand and uh, start uh, over with the line dance, uh, will be uh, happy to watch uh, this video, just because uh, I may, made uh, um, uh, quite uh, uh, quite uh, e extensive uh, uh, overview of whatever we have on a, on a country uh, core of country madness. Um, I hope you you're all well. I wish you all the best. This, this is this is a, a bad period, a bad time for this uh, this COVID nineteen. I hope that everybody is well, and uh, uh, I want to say goodbye to everyone.